mind. Hines in gold, Foreman in blue for the final round of this 156 pound open competition. A pair of golden gloves going to the winner. And Yuri Foreman, as he has throughout the fight, continuing to score with that left hand. Gil Clancy, both these young men are talking about turning pro in a very short amount of time. I'm guessing you think that Hines is a guy who needs a lot more work right now. Well, he certainly does. He needs more confidence in himself. He has to look to be doing damage with his punches. He's a lot better now than he did in the previous three rounds. It's a little too late, in my opinion. Good left hand there, but Yuri Foreman coming right back in with that big right. Well, again, he took a chance with that right hand. Left himself wide open. And Hines wasn't prepared to punch. He's trying to get out of the way instead of punch. Well, again, if Hines hasn't done anything to make him back up, how much of a chance can he be taken? Well, he thinks, again, when you wiggle right here in the way you wiggle, you're wide open for half a second. That's what boxing's all about. Line left right there by Hines, and now he comes flying out again. And Leon Hines, for the second time in this fight, loses the mouthpiece. First time, it was clearly from a blow, Gil Clancy. I don't know if it was that time. Well, he got hit a pretty good punch. Break! Break! Keep on leading with those right hands. That's dangerous. And he's very far ahead in the fight, in my opinion. Less than 30 seconds to go in this fight. Good exchange again. Yuri Foreman delivering punishment. Hines playing catch up right now. Closing seconds of the fight. And that'll do it. The fighters embrace a good battle. Yuri Foreman over to the blue corner, over to the gold corner, and now over to his corner to get the headgear undone and give the mouthpiece to Mike Kozlowski. Kozlowski is trainer who brought Foreman over from Israel with him. And when Foreman moved into the Kozlowski house, they have two children. Mike's wife said, it's too crowded in here. So he said, fine, and he and Yuri moved out. Such is the belief, such is the faith he has in this young right hand, this young boxer. Kozlowski looking very much like a victorious trainer right now. Let's take a look at a mouthpiece flying here, Gil. Was that first punch? There it is. Yeah, yeah was the punch. It's a part of the competition I love, the sportsmanship displayed by these two warriors after it is all over. Leon Hines, inspired by his brother Michael, who fought in the Golden Glove several times, but Michael Hines never made the finals. Yuri Foreman, of course, trying to blaze his own trail. Let's find out if he gets the victory here tonight as we get the decision from Kevin Van Meter. The winner of the men's 156-pound open class is from the blue corner, Yuri Foreman. Yuri Foreman made it to the finals last year in the 147-pound open. Where he came up on the short end of the decision, but this year in the 156 pound open, he is the Golden Gloves champion, decisioning Leon Hines from Brooklyn in four rounds. More Golden Gloves action coming up from the theater at Madison Square Garden after these messages on the MSG Network.
Live Monday at 5.